What's up guys, Lou here with what I believe is an exclusive video. This, my friends, is what the iPad 5 is going to look like. It's thinner, it's lighter. I'm gonna compare it to the previous generation right now, so let's not waste any more time. Let's check out the differences. So we're gonna get started on the front of the device. This is obviously a last generation iPad, but when I go ahead and put the front panel from the new iPad on top of this one, you can start to appreciate the changes in form factor. It's obviously more narrow and it looks a lot more like the iPad mini, but you're getting the exact same screen size. It fits in there perfectly and it will of course likely be that same retina display that you had on the previous generation. So you're giving up some bezel, but you're not giving up any screen screen and you're getting an overall smaller form factor. How much you ask? I will show measurements towards the end of this video, so don't go anywhere. But as you can tell, it is fairly significant. Taking a look at the side, you'll notice that the layout for the volume buttons has changed a little bit. Instead of being a singular piece, you now have a separate up and down, similar to that of the iPad mini. On the top, everything is in a similar location, though you can tell that the curves are a little different on each of the two devices. And now you have these upgraded speakers once again taking cues from the iPad mini. Holding the new form factor in one hand is very comfortable and easy to do and I can even wrap my entire hand around the device as I'll show you in a moment here. That's just not possible on the old form factor. It's just a little bit too wide whereas on this one as you can see here I mean I guess I have average to large size hands but still they can get around there so that little change in dimension is definitely a positive thing and noticeable. Uh, next we're going to check out how thin or thick the devices are. They're very very close to be honest with you guys i guess the new one is a tiny bit more thin if you take your measurement from the widest point of the current generation ipad but very negligible those differences the big difference is this dimension here as i mentioned earlier where the old one measures in at 18.5 centimeters and the new one has a width of 17 centimeters so 1.5 centimeters total in width so this new one is trimmed down as i said before this is the most important dimension change here maintaining the exact same screen real estate but boiling it down into a smaller form factor speaking of small form factors this my friends is the iPad mini 2 and in the next video I'll be giving you more details and a comparison on this to the old model so subscribe if you haven't yet you don't want to miss that episode thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this first look make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and I'll catch you on the next episode subscribe all right later